This is NHTV2, North Haven Government Television, a service of North Haven Community Television. The following program is brought to you through the support of the town of North Haven. Good evening. Welcome to the November 2021 meeting of the Board of Police Commissioners for the town of North Haven. My name is Larry Lazaroff, Chairman. To my left is Robin Wilson, Vice Chairman. To my right, Commissioner Hannon. Commissioners Calafiore and Commissioners Mead are not present tonight, but we're ready to go forward. Tonight's a special night. We have a swearing-in ceremony. So I'd like to welcome all the guests tonight, as well as the officers for our North Haven Police Department, for this very nice occasion. So, Christopher, come on forward. Let's make this happen. Okay, this is Christopher Butler being sworn in. Repeat after me, please. Right. Raise your right hand. I solemnly swear that. I solemnly swear that. I will bear true faith and allegiance to. I will bear true faith and allegiance to. The United States of America and the state of Connecticut. The United States of America and the state of Connecticut. And will support the constitution thereof. And will support the constitution thereof. I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All, all duties incumbent upon me. All duties incumbent upon me. As a police officer of the town of North Haven. As a police officer with the town of North Haven. I agree and obey. I agree to obey and be bound. I agree to obey and be bound. By such rules and regulations. By such rules and regulations. As are or may be made. As are or may be made. From time to time. From time to time. Established by the Board of Police Commissioners. Established by the Board of Police Commissioners. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Good job. Great job. So we walk you to our family. I'll ask if someone's going to come over and yep. pin you. And this is? My brother, Brandon. Welcome, Brandon. That's me. Poor time for that. So Congratulations. That one doesn't work. <laughs> so on behalf of the town of North Haven, I spoke with our, our first look at Michael Frieda this morning, and he welcomes you to the position of patrolman. On behalf of our department here, you're part of this family. Uh, we will treat you as one of our brothers, as you are, and we look forward to having our department. We hope you stay safe and enjoy a career here in North Haven. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you. So at this time, we'll take a small short break for photos for the family. We'll be back shortly. Okay, so we are back now into open session after having sworn in Christopher and welcoming his family as well to the department. That being said, I'd like to ask for an approval of the minutes of the October 26, 2021 meeting, both regular and executive session. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I understand there are no correspondences this evening, so therefore that's quick. For the chairman's report, I'd like to start by asking the residents um, to please, when they walk or run in the morning, you know, I, I drive to work very early in the morning and I see a lot of North Haven residents walking and uh, jogging on the streets uh, in dark clothing without any kind of reflectors or anything. It's, it's so, so dangerous. You know, you, your, your lights are on, it's, it's very dark and you're in dark clothing. So please try to be aware of your surroundings and please try to wear some kind of reflective or at least light colored shirt, sneakers. I see the sneakers with the lights and the, all the different things that are available. So just a, a, we'd rather avoid a situation than have to deal with one an accident happening. Again, another reminder to please lock your cars, your homes, your sheds. You know, we are the first defense ourselves. We, protect, we have to take responsibility and uh, protect our own property. Um, so Chief will talk about the No Shave November and you'll see the how nice he looks with his beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, reminder now we're going into holiday season as well. The stores are open later. Uh, just be careful and be vigilant where you park and just make sure you know where your surroundings are because obviously there's usually an uptick in crime during these holiday seasons. Um, just a notation that uh, in the center of town on the Saturday, November 27th from 1 to 3 in the North Avenue Shopping Center, now called the Washington Commons, we have an annual Santa Claus and Hayride event from 1 to 3 on the 27th. Please bring your kids. It's all free. It's a fun event. And with that being said, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and healthy Thanksgiving, but we'll do that at the end of the meeting as well. So, I've got nothing further. I'll pass it on now to the Chief. Thank you. Once again, congratulations to our newest police officer, Christopher Butler, who was sworn in this evening. Christopher had three years experience with the Hartford Police Department, and he begins here in North Haven tomorrow morning. Uh, being a certified officer with experience, we're able to abbreviate his field training here in North Haven, which will allow us to get him on the road in our patrol division by the end of the calendar year. Under the budget report, we're currently at 34.9% expended. This is below our self-imposed uh, monthly and, and bi-weekly limit, so we're in good shape. But as I mentioned last month, we expect an uptick in the next month and a half going into the holiday season with a lot of vacations and backfilling patrol, as well as an increase in training. Now that things are opening up, we're getting officers back in the classroom um, and going to, to more training classes. We're gonna be conducting our firearms training and new use of force training uh, the next month, month and a half. Uh, new use of force statewide policy goes into effect January 1st. So that's a very important uh, change that was a result of the police accountability <clears throat> bill that was passed. We received our budget making schedule and my request will be at the Board of Finance, uh, correction, the Finance Department for December 6th. Well, then we pass on to the First Selectman's Office. And as you know, the Board of Finance budget workshop, which you're all invited to, uh, is scheduled for February 16th. We're currently using grant funding for crime suppression patrols. This allows us to get extra patrols in the neighborhoods, specifically to target the uptick in stolen vehicles and larcenies from vehicles. So we've been able to staff those shifts at no cost to taxpayers, uh, which we're very happy about. We're also using grant funding to staff distracted driving overtime. So we have officers out on the road looking for people using cell phones while driving and otherwise uh, driving while distracted and conducting enforcement efforts with that. Again, uh, no cost to the town. Under the traffic report, we have no new requests for the commission this month, uh, but just an update on uh, things that have been passed in the past few months. Old Broadway, the no parking signs have been installed. The painting has been conducted on Old Broadway East. Uh, the no parking signs near Clintonville Road School have been ordered, as well as the signs for Beach Lane and North Hill. Those have been ordered also, and I'll update you hopefully by next month. Those will be installed. Last night, there was a just, uh, juvenile justice forum across the street at the Park and Rec uh, Department. Uh, we sent Lieutenant Matthew Falcon to represent us at that forum. Uh, from all accounts, he did a nice job. Lieutenant Falcon has um, extensive experience when it comes to juvenile justice. Uh, he was a school resource officer for a few years. He worked with our, um, our help me out here. Yeah. He did DARE, also the um, juvenile review board across the street where we try to divert juveniles for, who are arrested for minor crimes. We sent them to the juvenile review board opposed to the juvenile justice system. So he's worked with them for years. He's helped us with juvenile policy as well as training in that topic. So he represented us. Um, they asked for a panelist to speak for just a few minutes last night, and uh, I believe it went well. In regards to new personnel, uh, we obviously swore in our newest officer this evening. So we are fully staffed at this time. In January, we have three funded positions. We have one conditional offer of employment for January, and that is a certified police officer from a municipality uh, close by. And we hope to have him on board soon. Um, by all accounts, his background investigation has been great. It's just a formality as far as when we could swear him in. We're conducting interviews later this week for a recruit level officer, hopefully uh, to bring before the, the Board of Police Commissioners for further interviews, and that's for the January uh, Police Academy class. <clears throat> we may be asking for a special meeting in the next couple of weeks to facilitate that and give us enough time to onboard that person for January. 
and we'll be opening up applications for certified police officers in the next few weeks. Uh, there'll be a written test uh, for that position and then internal interviews. Uh, applicants can go to police app to register for that written test and then apply to North Haven. And the deputy chief is gonna uh, give an update on our CALEA status, which is coming uh, to a head this weekend or later this week. Uh, as we talked before, at the end of the uh, four-year CALEA cycle, you have to go for reaccreditation. Um, normally, that's an in-person conference visit with the chief and the accreditation manager due to the ongoing COVID concerns. It's now a remote assessment, and it's going to be held. Uh, our portion is going to be this Friday. Um, the chief, myself, well, Lieutenant Thorpe, the accreditation manager, and hopefully uh, Captain Stravides. Uh, we all participated at one point or another in the uh, CALEA process as far as being an accreditation manager. Um, the commission review is basically them posing some questions if they had any concerns over the three years, if they noted anything that was, um, you know, that they thought need, we needed to be addressed, you know, we would address it. They just need to confirm that. So uh, that's going to take place this Friday, and if everything goes well, we'll be reaccredited uh, with no conditions, and that will uh, cover us for the next four years. Then the cycle begins again with the, uh, you know, proofs and standards and yearly uh, commission reviews and stuff like that. So, so after the review on Friday, how long until you find out uh, the situation as far I'm as critiques sure. or? I'm not sure if it's a matter of uh, weeks or or days, okay. you know, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll be notified and then obviously the chief will pass along to you. So hopefully by the December commission meeting, Perfect. we'll know where we stand. Excellent. Excellent. Any questions? I have none. No. Well, I think you guys have done an amazing job uh, making sure that we're prepared for this evaluation. And we're all very proud of the department that we have here. So thank you guys very, very much. Anything else? Just a few more things to give, uh, as I try to do every month, some perspective on your date numbers. Uh, for calls for service overall, we're just under 25,000 calls this year. Uh, that's a 27% increase from last year, 19% increase in 2019, and a 42% increase in 2018. Uh, so it's a big jump, and it's uh, been fairly consistent. In the category of overdoses, we've had 26 overdoses total, not all fatal, some non-fatal. 26 overall this year, that's a 24% increase from last year, 30% increase from 2019, and a 115% increase from 2018. Um, as I mentioned in the past few months, uh, we've been making efforts to do a better job, not just responding to these overdoses and uh, attempting some life-saving measures with our Narcan and CPR, but also following up and making connections for addiction uh, services when they're not fatal overdoses. Vehicle burglaries were still down compared to the past three years, 30% uh, fewer this year compared to last year, the same compared to 2019 and 55% fewer compared to 2018. Stolen cars were up, we're at 45 stolen vehicles this year. The vast majority are unlocked with key fobs in the vehicles. Uh, it's a 55% increase from last year, 125% increase from 2019 and a 45% increase in 2018. Shopliftings uh, again are up. Uh, compared to 18 and 19, 18% um, higher compared to 18, and 40% higher compared to 2019. Um, as the commissioner noted earlier, with our COVID restrictions uh, slowly opening up, our officers have been more active with traffic stops, not only distracted driving, but running radar details, uh, stopping more vehicles for speed violations and overall um, violations. I have no requests this month for the Benary Scholarship. And prior to executive session, as the chairman noted, we are participating in No Shave November this month. Uh, we have a number of officers participating, um, not shaving for the entire month to raise funding for the Connecticut <coughs> Cancer Foundation. I think that cancer is something that has uh, really affected all of us, either personally, uh, family members, uh, loved ones, friends. Uh, so I commend the officers who are raising funds for this effort they're doing a nice job. We've decided to extend, possibly extend, if the funding reaches a certain threshold um, from the North Haven officers, we're going to extend the efforts through the end of December to try to raise some more money. So if somebody wants to contribute, how would they go about doing that? 
So you can go to uh, No Shave November, Connecticut No Shave November mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. That'll be the homepage. Uh, on the top right, you can click donate and just make sure that everyone searches North Haven Police Department. It doesn't just donate to anybody. Right. We appreciate that. So it's No Shave November, Connecticut 2021. Close to it. If you Google it, it'll pop up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, um, officers are currently organizing a toy drive. This is the third annual toy drive out in the lobby. There's a poster. We've uh, announced that on social media today. Um, we are trying to organize an on the ground day at one of our local um, toy stores to collect toys there. But between now and December 12th, we're collecting toys in the lobby of the police department um, at any time. Those are unwrapped new toys. And that's all I have except for executive session. Okay, great. Any questions, anybody? Good. So, as I was swearing in Christopher Butler, I neglected to uh, inform everybody about the family's dedication to public service. His father is a police commissioner in West Haven, and his two brothers are police officers in West Haven. So, we applaud the Butler family for their dedication to public service. I didn't want to let that go without mentioning that. Anything else? Any questions before we go into executive session? Nothing? Okay. With that, I have a motion to go to executive session for personnel matters. Make a motion to go to executive session for personnel matters. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We are out of executive session, having discussed personnel matters. Do I have a motion for adjournment? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a nice, happy, and healthy Thanksgiving, everybody. The preceding program is brought to you in part through a grant from the town of North Haven. Watch town meetings or other videos on demand at nhtv.com.